guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with September favourites and yes, I know I'm a little bit late with these but September was honestly the biggest, busiest month of my life and I've now come down with a bit of congestion and grossness so please excuse my crumbly voice while I go through this. Luckily there is only um, three polishes to talk about. This is not saying that I didn't wear polish in September, I definitely did, it was a much better month than what we saw in August but I didn't um, wear a lot of individual polishes, I wore a lot, I did a lot of swatching for collections because I've got myself a bit behind on collection reviewing. So like I say we have three polishes, one mainstream and two indie, so let's do the mainstream one first. The mainstream one is from Essie and this is called Madame Wizen. Now I actually found this on Fragrance Diet Direct probably about a year ago. I don't know where it was originally from but after a lot of deep googling you may remember this that I picked up the trio that were from Oktoberfest which is a German um, beer festival which does spread throughout the world. But these were apparently um, ones that were Oktoberfest exclusives, didn't know that was a thing. Madame Wizen is this beautiful grey purple mixture, definitely something a little different. I feel there is an Essie that is similar to this, so if you can't find this because it is limited edition then I'm sure, I want to say Warm and Toasty Turtleneck is similar in concept. This is a great formula, it was completely opaque in two, um, so no complaints there, that one was Madame Wizen by Essie. I then have one from Polish Pickup and this is Fair Maiden's Cosmic Confection and this is from February's um, Polish Pickup. This to me was like that month's highlight. Everybody seemed to talk about it. Everybody that purchased from February Polish Pickup picked up this polish. So this was definitely a highlight I think in that month. It's a beautiful turquoise with so much glitter and there's a little bit of shimmer in there and it just glows off the nail. What I love about Polish Pickup is they always have like a pictorial reference to what they're trying to show and the, the picture that I remember they put up with this was just this beautiful, like I say, teal, a little bit of a purpley shimmer and there's a ton of other things going on. So this is completely opaque in two or three. It is a jelly formula, so you may find that you do need that third coat or you may be able to slap on two thick ones and be okay. Not sure how you're going to be able to get this anymore because like I say, wash polish pick up, um, but that was Cosmic Confection by Fair Maiden. And the last polish for the empty is going to be Protrificus Dotalis and this is by Glam Polish and this came out in their second wave of Harry Potter Magical Spells. So they did the original collection that I did do a full review for and then they came back with an additional five polishes and this is one of the additional five. So it is a very, very, very glittery polish and it's then got mainly the silver and the silver hollow. And it's got kind of like an orangey flash to it which is just picking up on camera there. It is apparent on the nail so you are getting definitely what's on the nail in the, on the bottle on the nail. Um, I just wasn't overwhelmed by it. It was, it was nice, it was fine, it was pretty. Just not one of my favourites from Glam Polish or my favourites from that uh, Magical Spells collection. And I'll be saving this up because obviously we will be doing another Harry Potter video at some point. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other Harry Potter videos, there is a playlist on my channel. So definitely check that out if you're a Harry Potter um, lover. So that was two coats of Petrificus Totalis by Glam Polish. I have one empty this month and this is the Naked Manicure by Zoya Glossy Seal. This is their quick dry top coat. I've used maybe three bottles of this in the past. It's a really great formula, super shiny, dries really fast. The only complaint would be that I wish it was a wider brush. Um, in fact, Zoya's probably one of, Zoya and China Glaze probably have the thinnest brushes now out of everybody. Um, especially now um, Essie's made theirs wider um, all around the world. So I just wish maybe it had a wider brush and then it would have been like perfection. But a really good top coat, if you ever get anything in the Zoya, they, do, they normally do bundles where they'll throw in a top coat, it's definitely worth trying it. So that was September favourites, like I say, a little bit longer than last month, but not overwhelming. I'm hoping that um, October's favourites will be a really, really big because I've been wearing a lot of polish up until I broke not a huge break, but I did have a break earlier this week, so I'm hoping still to keep the momentum up and keep swatching. So I hope you've had a great September and it wasn't as busy and chaotic as mine. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.